All right. So here is what I'm looking at doing. I bought this HP uh, Slate 21 Pro. Uh, it's essentially an Android tablet. That's a 21-inch tablet. It's got a keyboard on it now. My plan is to mount it probably on this wall here or this wall here in between the kitchen and the living room. And so I want an interface that has all of my stuff for the house on it. So there are home automation apps out there that have dashboards and things like that. Um, unfortunately, you can't fit like those dashboards. They don't, none of them have the capacity to fit everything on one screen. Like the widgets are, they're huge. You know, they take up that much space and, and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, they're limited in what you can do. You know, some of them you can put cameras on, but the cameras need to be supported by the Vera in the case of uh, some of them and, and, and all of that type of stuff. I, 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 you know, weather is, Maybe some of them have that. If I want weather radar, I can't have it in there. If I want my audio control like Sonos and Plex and like all of that stuff, I can't put it in there. So I want to build my own interface. So this widget here is a widget that I made with Zooper, um, which is like kind of a widget building thing. It has integration with Tasker. Uh, and then I have Tasker uh, uh, with the AutoVera plugin on there. And so I've created... Um, some tasker tasks and uh, scenes and things like that uh, in order to do this. Now the goal is to have an icon to the left of each one of these lights that indicates whether or not it's on or off. So, uh, you know, minimalistic white icon, you know, kind of like these, uh, you know, hollow for off, filled in for on, just, you know, filled in like that cloud would be, right? So uh, when you press this, and, and these are the the um, the bars on the side for what the light is currently at. I can't get. I don't have those working yet because I don't know how to have Zuper pull the variable from Tasker in order to use it. So if I press this widget, because you can't do sliders in Android um, in widgets, it won't let you do it. So you have to bring up a separate one. So I have a Tasker scene that actually brings that up. So if I press this, oops, right there. It brings up this in the middle of the screen, uh, and then we can go like this and turn the lights on in the kitchen. Or we can turn them off again, right? So I have that working. It's just an amazingly tedious process to set this up. I've got about 50 lights. Uh, in the house that are controlled by the home automation system. Here's one of the keypads in the house right now. Um, but uh, there's about 50 lights in here. There's a ton of other stuff that's controllable and a ton of other information out of the Vera that I want on here. I want to keep my lights in their own widgets, but then, uh, you know, thermostats and all of that stuff. So having the flexibility to be able to create these widgets how I want and get that stuff in there is important but it's going to take me forever to create you know all of these different uh tasker tasks and scenes and 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 things like that. So maybe there's a better way to do it. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Maybe there's a way to have tasker enumerate all of my dimmer and binary light devices and automatically create the stuff for itself. No idea uh and that's what I need to figure out.